Welcome to my video on how to pull your pickaxe out after every edit in Fortnite, and why. You may have already seen my original video with a similar title. Although that video is concise and valuable, this video will have much more information and delve deeper into why the strategy works, as well as going over my basic suggestions. This video will cover different strategies, explanations, and drills for wiring your mind to a new playstyle. I will be covering controller this time, but it's much more difficult because there is no optimal strategy like there is for keyboard players. When I am asked about editing with your pickaxe out, the first thing I suggest is going into settings and changing harvesting tool to mouse wheel up or down. Toggle harvesting tool could work, but I find that simply using the basic harvesting tool option is much more consistent. This works just the same with the shotgun pullout, so as I discuss pickaxes further, just know that shotguns are interchangeable with pickaxes. I use mouse wheel up because it's easier to flick with, but I've gotten used to mouse wheel up so I assume down would work just as well. Some people are able to use three fingers on the mouse, which makes the strategy easier. Personally, I use two fingers on the mouse and move my middle finger back and forth between right click and middle mouse to reach the scroll wheel. The best pickaxe binds are going to be the ones that are furthest away from your build binds. So for example, I have Q as my cone, so if I have my pickaxe bind set to two, and I press my cone and then two, I have it set to pump because I don't have it set to pickaxe, but if I grab Q and then pump, it's a lot longer than pressing Q and then my scroll wheel button. I can press that a lot faster because I have to use one finger to press Q and then two, but I can use both of my fingers to press Q and then scroll wheel up. Before I get into drills, I know that some players have both mouse wheel binds in use, but the strategy is simply too complex. If you want to be a fast editor, removing scroll wheel pickup is very optimal. I know it seems like scroll wheel pickup is how to win fights off spawn, but I never lose weapon pickups after landing, even with my use bind set to the key C. I definitely wouldn't remove scroll wheel reset, because that makes resetting much quicker and is a big advantage of being a keyboard player. Scroll wheel is by far the best option, but there are a few alternatives that work really well. Using a side button is really convenient because your thumb will always be resting on it. The middle scroll wheel button can work, but it won't be as fast. Finally, using double binds for pickaxe would be extreme but if learned properly, it can be almost as fast or faster than scroll wheel. For anyone who would rather stay on a basic keyboard bind, these drills will accommodate just fine, but it will be a lot slower. As I showed in my previous video, there are many ways to practice this. The first thing I would do is go to the floor of a creative map and place a floor and a cone and pull your pickaxe out. You can continue doing this, running along the map, and it'll slowly get your mind used to pulling out your pickaxe after placing builds. And after you're done with that, you can move on to triple edits, or even double edits. Double edits first, and then triple edits. And if you get comfortable enough, you can do quad edits. And if that's too complicated, I would, all, I would continue going to the bottom of the map and placing a ramp, editing it, placing a wall, editing it, all while pulling out your pickaxe. Placing a wall, editing it and keep going like this until you get comfortable enough to do those double, triple, and quad edits. Editing with your pickaxe out can add some delay. The better the ping, the faster you can pull your pickaxe out. If you play on higher ping, try learning when there are edits with longer pauses between edits so you only pull it out during those edits. On around 0 to 20 ping, editing with your pickaxe out does not make much of a difference to edit speed. It seems very difficult and slow at first, but it will become instinctual over time. I disagree with a lot of Fortnite players that will tell you that editing with your pickaxe out is useless. Doing this is one of the biggest reasons I've become so good at fast editing. Psychologically, when my builds are out, my mind instinctively wants to edit slower and have a smooth play style. If your goal is to be quick, pulling out your pickaxe increases your awareness of your edits, improving edit speed, and makes it less likely to mess up. Imagine yourself walking down a street. If you are looking at the ground for things you could trip over, you would be much less likely to trip than if you weren't paying attention. 
It's the same thing with editing with your pickaxe out because your pickaxe is a constant reminder to not slow down or mess up. Many players do not want to try editing with the pickaxe out because they are afraid it will make fighting players more difficult. What I do is pull out my pickaxe minimally in fights and save this strategy for when I am going for a clip or free building. A big part of editing with your pickaxe out that I haven't mentioned yet is the sounds. I'm sure we've all watched a keyboard ASMR video before and the sounds are undoubtedly relaxing. The next best thing is hearing the satisfying swish of the pickaxe as we are editing through our builds. There are many pickaxes that sound incredible, so I will display some of my favorites in this video. If you want to see more, my series Top 5 Pickaxes to Edit Within Fortnite has 5 parts to it now and has over 25 very good pickaxes to use. The link will be in the description. Not only does editing with your pickaxe out improve your builds mechanically, but it is also very flashy to someone watching your builds. You may not be editing too much faster than when you have your builds out, but perception is reality. If something, your pickaxe, is flashing around your character, it adds another layer to what a viewer is seeing. It creates a flurry of edits and pickaxe swings that look very impressive. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, I will explain this trick to controller players and others who want to stick to a more default pickaxe bind. On controller, there is no perfect fix, but I would recommend binding your pickaxe close to your confirm edit button so you can slide your finger from confirm to the pickaxe bind very quickly. Before you try pickaxe building, I would first make sure your edits are fast enough with builds out where you have enough time between edits to click another button. Getting paddles or a scuff controller can also be a good option because your fingers are already resting on those buttons, though they are sometimes more difficult to press. If you use either a controller or a basic pickaxe bind on keyboard like number or shift, try doing drills like I showed earlier and really learn the muscle memory of your bind. That's it for this video, I will link my informative playlist in the description if you want to see more videos like this, and I plan to release many more in the future. Thanks for watching.